there were 2.9 million foreclosures filed in 2010. In 2023, last year, right now it's January 2024, 2023, there were only 357,000 foreclosures filed, which is about 10% of what they were in 2010. Why are these numbers down so far and how is it affecting the market? Well, the 2008 crash was a big one. We all know about that. And what led up to that crash uh, partially was uh, the lending rules at the time. They were so loose on lending that they would give anybody a loan that could fog a mirror. If you went up and you wanted a mortgage, you could get one. So anyone could get a mortgage back in 2006, 2007, leading up to the crash of 2008. And 2010 was the peak of the uh, foreclosure filings at 2.9 million. So like I said, we're at 357,000 for 2023, mainly due to the lending rules changing as well as the pandemic. So during the pandemic, as we all know, there were moratoriums and a lot of people didn't have to pay their mortgage payment if they claimed that they were in trouble. So it has helped to, de to decrease the foreclosures by a ton. So we don't have as many foreclosures in the market you know, if you were buying foreclosures at the courthouse, at the sheriff's sales, you know, back before the pandemic, you'll notice the numbers are now are drastically uh, lower than what they were. A lot less filings happening. And this is contributing to the inventory remaining low and the prices remaining high. Right now, we're kind of in a weird relationship because in the past, you would think that interest rates going up would mean the prices would come down but we've been in, an, in a, such a low rate environment over the last four or five years that it's kind of had a reverse effect. Right now, the interest rates are hovering about 6.5%. And, um, but the prices are just so high right now. And you would think that's a little bit weird, but it's just due to the fact that many people that are locked in at a 3% interest rate, they don't want to sell their homes just to buy in at 6%. So it's a little bit strange. Um, there's actually a stat from uh, Redfin, 92.8% of people uh, in 2022 had a mortgage that was under 6%. Right now, that has changed a little bit. We're at 88% of people, of homeowners, have an interest rate under 6%. So a majority of the market, you know, nine-tenths of the market, has a rate lower than what they would get currently. And it's causing people to stay put and causing inventory to remain low and prices to remain high.